Is it better to buy Bitcoin or mine Bitcoin? How much can you really earn with one pita hash? Which is the new standard number of a small Bitcoin mining operation. Hey, I'm Bosker on the Bosker YouTube channel. I've been mining and buying Bitcoin for a while now. If nothing else, I live this. That's my credentials for whatever that's worth. Let's break down some real time mining profitability data. And this is based from my own personal mining farm. Not what I saw on some kind of calculator. What miners are truly earning here. I know it's a controversial subject. Do you say peta or pita hash? Let me know down in the comments below. One peta hash, we'll flip back to peta hash today. One peta hash mines about 0 0.000305 BTC daily, which extrapolates out to 0 0.015 monthly BTC mined or 0.18 Bitcoin annually mined. There's many ways to deploy one petahash of Bitcoin mining power. There are even some off the shelf option now is that one unit can literally do that. Pretty crazy, high efficiency, latest generation stuff comes at a big premium, but it's high profitability and it's got more staying power with that higher efficiency. For the numbers, in the sake of this video, we're gonna use current generation uh, approximately mining efficiency, not what we'll call the next generation or incoming generation because even though this is on the mining profitability calculator you're not going to get one of these in your hands maybe till the beginning of next year at the earliest let's take this with this you can deploy about 860 terahash a second or 0.86 petash for 17 you add another miner right you know it's 20 grand and then you still have additional mining infrastructure there I'll elaborate more here on a second. And that's hydro cooled. And to be frank, it's a little complex and you need three phase electricity. Something more typical would be something like the Bit Deer Seal Miner A2. You can get those closer to three grand uh, from many different miner resellers, uh, including ASIC Marketplace, where I recently bought several of those from. Uh, and so we have an affiliate link and we have a coupon code to save some coin if you do want to grab those But you may not even want to buy a Bitcoin miner by the end of this video. So definitely uh, stick with me here Four seal miner a twos each do the standard lowest version uh, Does 226 terahash a second. So four of those gets us to about 900. So let's just run with that four number right 3,000 uh, we're gonna be taking 3,000 times four. So you got about 12 grand into this. You'll spend a couple to several thousand more dollars deploying these miners depending on your situation. Unless you do a lot of things yourself, you set up the miners right by your panel and DIY some kind of airflow situation. Uh, so let's just call it 15 grand, right? 15 grand current generation Bitcoin mining tech is what it will cost you to get into this. 15 grand and with that, you'll mine about 0.18 or just a little bit less maybe call it 0.17 btc annually here 0.18 about 19 grand of bitcoin 0.17 about 18 grand of bitcoin and that's great but we're also not accounting for that electricity bill after you pay your electricity bill you wouldn't be earning 18 something grand worth of bitcoin right we'll call that 0.17 btc in our situation or uh, our example here you'd be earning about thirteen thousand uh, dollars so you'd probably spend five to six grand on electricity depending on of course your electricity rate i'm calculating my estimated numbers or projected numbers i should say at my mining farm's electric rate which is seven and a half cents per kilowatt hour and I look at my real world mining profitability from just simply my actual Bitcoin mining farms data and profits, right? I can, I can look at numbers uh, like I have here and some other avenues of uh, data for my mining pool. Then I use tools like mining now to compare and contrast with that data. But let's say you go for like the hydro stuff, you end up spending like 25 grand and for 25 grand, you could buy a lot of Bitcoin, like 0.232 Bitcoin. And how long will it really take you to make that Bitcoin uh, back mining? And how, how viable is this really? Well, we'd be projected to mine 0.17 Bitcoin over the next year with the seal miner example. Uh, but then we would actually only end up with about 13 grand worth of Bitcoin after we account for our electricity bill. And then that also will basically wipe out us reimbursing ourselves, right? So we have 0.12 Bitcoin. If everything's the same, 
right? We basically pay ourselves back for our investment and we're sitting here at zero, but we're not just worthless. We're not just didn't just chase our tail for a year here. We own this Bitcoin mining hardware, which will continue to, de to depreciate over time if nothing else changed. Uh, Bitcoin gets more and more difficult to mine on average year over year. It also becomes more and more valuable year over year on average, you know, approximately long term trajectory there. Want to get into mining but don't want to run your own miners? Check out today's video sponsor, Musk Miners. Musk has grown a lot in the last couple of years with over 700 clients and over 3,000 miners. They offer miner hosting in several locations across the U.S. using natural gas and recycled energy. The rate is approximately $0.08 cents per kilowatt hour and there are no service or racking fees. Check out their list of hostable miners that you can buy through them. These prices from Musk have the tariffs built in so what you see is what you can expect to pay. To learn more about Musk miners, check out the link in the video description below. More powerful Bitcoin miners come out over time and uh, make some of that old gear less viable. So let's say our miners reduce value by like 33% or so. Then we're essentially sitting on about $8,000 worth of hardware or about 0.074 BTC. And let's say things are going great, right? Bitcoin doubles in price and we end up mining half as much Bitcoin because it's more difficult but we still end up with $13,000 of Bitcoin. It wouldn't be that uh, Bitcoin amount there though. Um, and let's say worst case scenario, right? Because our electricity bill is not gonna go down. We hope it simply just doesn't go up, right? Best case, right, we're mining around that same dollar amount or more, you know, in a perfect world. Uh, but even if we are mining profitability halved, right? And that's, and we're not even gonna deal with the Bitcoin halving over the next year. Well, then we'd be sitting, you know, somewhere around six, to seven thousand dollars well, we would mine about 0.06 btc now this is where it gets a little diff interesting it gets a little challenging right because now I i'm mining i own this hardware it has this tangible value uh we can say that you know current bitcoin rates it's worth like 0.075 btc and then we're gonna mine somewhere between 0.06 and and, and maybe you know, 0 0.12, uh, 0 0.12 is a pretty high projection. Uh, let's, you know, maybe we'll say like 0.1. So we have essentially the value of like 0.175 Bitcoin at that point in this example. 0.175 Bitcoin, about 18 grand. We could buy that mining hardware for like 13 grand. And once we factor in some infrastructure costs there and that's on the cheaper side estimate, right and then we also will end up paying that electricity bill over the next year so uh you know we'll, we'll be mining some bitcoin getting it back but let's just say we're sitting on that electricity bill and let's just call it five grand we would essentially put in eighteen thousand dollars into bitcoin right now and and you could just simply buy about 0.17 bitcoin whereas you would be essentially on track here to mine 0.1 bitcoin projected over the next year and then be sitting on hardware that's valued that will pretty much pick up that other 0.7 and obviously these are hypotheticals nobody knows what the future holds all that stuff uh but it's it's kind of interesting that i'm gonna have to play this game for you know essentially two years until this starts to be more interesting and lucrative to be a bitcoin mining endeavor instead of just buying bitcoin and that's how it's looked at at face value but there's a lot of things people don't understand they don't think about there's so many variables right if bitcoin doubles in price these bitcoin miners are going to be so much more expensive they're gonna be so much more profitable and they may just even simply be like impossible to get. And in the previous Bitcoin bull run, Bitcoin miners went from costing a couple thousand dollars to over $10,000 a machine. And even at that price, you could barely get them. The people who bought the top didn't end up doing too well. Buying hardware in a parabolic bull run is not a good place to be. It's still a good time to buy mining hardware, but there's more efficient hardware on the horizon. Uh, that price will come down. The price per terahash is gonna continue to decrease, uh, which means the price per petahash is going to continue to decrease. Uh, so, you know, to answer the question, you know, real simply, right? You mine 0.18, BTC over a year projected with uh, 0.1 petahash, that's about 
$19,000. Do you buy the coin or just mine the coin in this scenario? You really need to be looking at a longer term plan of like two years plus in order to play the mining game or you have a more competitive electricity rate than I do in this example. I would say that this is about an average good electricity rate. Uh, it's not very hard to get this electricity rate in many areas of the US. You can go outside of the US. There's a lot of risks with that, but there are some very lucrative electricity rates to be had out there. You can offset this with things like solar or other uh, energy deals. But if you're not into this and you're lazy, maybe you should just buy the coin. I can't give you financial advice, uh, but you know, I'm sitting here and I'm running this data because, you know, as a content creator, we get these questions a lot. Should I buy? Should I mine? Why? What's and then I'm like, well, what's your scenario? What's your setup? What's your interest? What's your situation? Uh, but for me, I'm also looking at do I continue investing in the mining farm? Do I continue expanding there or should I chill the f out and just buy the coin? But here's the final piece for everyone who has stuck with me in this video to the end. A lot of people don't want to factor just that price increase or price decrease. It seems all great, fine and dandy to buy the coin right now, but what if it goes down 50% in price? Okay, people start to think that Bitcoin can't move a lot anymore because of just how entrenched it is in the investing world now. I wouldn't be quite so sure. Sure, I think that there are big dips that are possible, but I don't think that it will just dip and die. I think it'll come back and be worth more eventually. Uh, but what's that time frame look like? Bottom line is you buy now and it goes down 50%, you could have bought twice as much Bitcoin for that money, you're gonna be pretty pissed. If you buy miners now and it goes down, mining difficulty will decrease some and you will end up mining more Bitcoin than you expected and projected. It will not have a higher USD value, at least for a while. But that's fine because if you're buying and holding, maybe selling a little bit if you have to to account for the electricity bill, right? And then you're getting more coin and eventually, right? Hopefully it reaches a, reaches a higher and higher price. Then it was all even more lucrative in retrospect. You could even double down on more hardware when the price is low, and maybe get your average cost per Bitcoin miner down, uh, potentially making it a, a better investment. But that's how I look at it for me personally with my business, my point of view. I'm not here to push you into stuff. I don't really care what you do or don't do. Uh, I just want to make the best content I can, have fun, and I appreciate everyone who subscribes to Voscoin to watch all these videos we make. That's where my head's at. Uh, for my plan, simply, I've invested a lot over the last year, further expanding uh, the mining farm. I didn't even get into the whole thing of tax benefits. There's a lot less tax benefits by simply buying the coin as opposed to building a Bitcoin mining business, which is exactly what it is. Uh, so that's really where a lot of interesting things just open up. But, you know, I could go on and on about this all day. I'll just kind of leave that there as a bit of an Easter egg to explore more. If you're interested in this, you're not already in the trenches with me digging for some Bitcoins. Uh, so what would I do? I don't I don't really ever buy Bitcoin anymore because I essentially dollar cost average into it every day. I buy Bitcoin every day with my miners with the you know by proxy through my electricity bill and i deploy the mine and hold strategy uh so i i mine coin i hold coin and i hope for much better greener days and just some hopeful and really exciting take profit opportunities miss every shot you don't take 10 seconds of tails closing out in style i appreciate you good luck goodbye